Uh, let's start with the, 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 the motivation of Dr. Muerti from Botswana as the next World Health Organization Director for Africa. This is a bold step. <laughs> it's it's a, a step in the right direction, and Namibia is grateful to have played a major role. Mm -hmm. You may wish, I think for the information of the nation, that uh, first I was approached by the Botswana minister, then uh, uh, Dr. Rev. Rent, uh, uh, Sia mm. uh, that uh, Namibia considers uh, supporting Botswa Botswana's candidature and that we play a role in uh, influencing uh, our colleagues. So I took it up from there last year and then took it up with cabinet and uh, I'm grateful to say cabinet supported that. And then when we met in uh, Malawi last year, it is Namibia that took it up with uh, uh, the colleagues, uh, the uh, SADC health ministers, that let's have only one candidate and let's go for Botswana's uh, candidature. Mm. And that is in the name of Dr. Um, uh, Matsidiso Mueti. Mm. And the reason for Namibia's stance is, first and foremost, she was uh, Dr. Sambo's uh, deputy for quite some time. Mm. And we know her strength. She's a medical doctor, very efficient, capable, and she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And that it would be for the first time that uh, the African region would have uh, a female regional director uh, spearheading this most important. Uh, I'm grateful mm -hmm. that by the end of the day, we emerged Vic, uh, victorious. Uh, all the colleagues rallied behind us. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, uh, unfortunately, DRC also came up with a, a candidate okay. uh, where, as a result, there were four ladies and one male. Uh, who were the candidates? It was Botswana, uh, DRC, Mali, Senegal, and the host country, Benin. But looking at this, of course, what, what does this mean from a political front? We know that SADC has been big on the SADC uh, gender equality protocol, or the protocol on gender equality. And we've seen that, I mean, there have been moves made. We, we, we're we looking at, I mean, uh, uh, Zuma, of course, uh, heading now the, the Secretariat of the African Union. We're looking at some high-level positions uh, where SADC is really pushing for women. So is this a deliberate action from, from the Southern African Development Community? I, I think it's quite an achievement, frankly speaking, for the region, SADC in particular. And, Nam and to be specific, Namibia spearheading it in the sense that we already have this uh, uh, in Swap Party's constitution. And uh, we, we are seeing that other member states are, are following suit. So the women, those who are capable, those who are efficient with all the qualifications, with all the ingredients, mm. we, we are seeing them spearheading. Well, well, of course, we know that the, the, the event was supposed to be held in October, but it had been moved to November uh, because of the Ebola situation. Um, how serious is the situation at the moment in West Africa? Well, well it, it's, it's quite serious. Uh, I decided to bring a, a, a paper as you rightfully said, it was one of those uh, subjects that was um, heavily debated and discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had the representation of uh, the WHO Director General, Dr. Margaret Chen, was there with her team. They took us through. And then we also had um, <coughs> Dr. Zuma uh, as the chair was heavily uh, represented there by the commissioner responsible for social welfare. Uh, just for the information, since the report, the first report was Guinea. That was in March uh, 2014. Since then, five other African countries, that is Liberia, Mali, Nigeria, Senegal, and Sierra Leone, uh, were affected. And outside the African continent, we do know that two more countries, the USA and Spain, were affected. Now, in terms of the magnitude, which is important, uh, responding directly to your question, as of 24 October 2014, uh, a total 
cumulative figures, mm -hmm. 11,802 cases had been reported. Okay. And out of that, 4,169 succumbed. Those were the fatal cases? Yes, they died. All right. And of these figures, that includes a total of 446 health practitioners. Mm. Imagine health practitioners. And of that health practitioners, 252 death among health workers. Mm. And <coughs> you are talking of a little more than 50% casualties. And those are the people who should be uh, taking care.